Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at Zaleski State Forest near a wetland area and I'd like to introduce you to winterberry holly. Winterberry holly is native to much of Ohio. In fact, it's native to much of the eastern United States from about the northern part of Georgia and Alabama up through the lake states and west to about the Mississippi River. This species is native, as I mentioned, and it only occurs in or near wetland areas. And so it's not extremely common in southern Ohio especially, but this is one of the largest, most expansive populations of this that I've ever seen. So it's called winterberry or winterberry holly. It's actually a deciduous holly, which means it loses its foliage in the winter. These small little leaves can be two to maybe up to three inches in length. They're alternate, so again, they alternate sides of the twig. They've got long petioles, and then they have these fine teeth around the edge. Right now, they're kind of yellow in color. They're actually a fairly deep, dull green in the summer. They'll turn yellow, and then as I mentioned, they're deciduous. Twigs are very fine. Buds are very small, and in fact, this species is really hard to identify when you don't have the fruit. You've got small greenish gray twigs with some scattered linosols or white dots on them. But when you've got the fruit, it's fairly easy to identify. So in the spring, these will produce clusters of whitish green flowers. Those flowers um, will be in clusters of two to about four, and then they'll also produce these fruits later in the year. I did fail to mention this tree is dioecious, which means it has male and female plants that are separate. So the female flowers are on these plants, and over to my left, I've got some that are males that don't have the fruits. So the female flowers, again, are greenish white in the spring. They're on little stalks, and then they'll produce these fruits, which are droops. They're about a quarter inch in diameter. They're orangish red to a bright red in color, and they're in clusters of two to as many as four or more. And again, they persist into winter. So long after these leaves have hit the ground or fallen in the water here in this swampy area, you're going to have these persistent red fruits. So this species can put on quite a show. Um, there are some horticultural varieties of this that you'll see in the landscape, but I really love bumping into this species out in nature in swampy areas here in southern Ohio. Thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.